Hey, happy Sunday. How's everyone? Good. Good. Oh, I'm well. Thank you. Thank you for asking. Uh, before I get started, is anybody playing Pokemon Go? So, I swear I found one up here a few minutes ago. I almost missed my stage time. I was walking around backstage and I was like, wait. Everybody was in the way. I couldn't, couldn't reach them in time. That is a phenomenon, isn't it? That is bananas. See, the same technology they're using for that, we've actually uh, built something similar uh, for the app. Now, it's not integrated, and it was just an idea we had a few years ago, but it just goes to show you how forward-thinking a lot of the creative people are in our team, that they're thinking about that sort of thing and how that kind of technology might be applied to say, oh, I don't know, vacation scavenger hunts or secret prizes. Let's say you go to Cabo, you know, and you find one of our Pokemon, <laughs> Pokemon, <laughs> you know, at one site. There are a lot of fun things you can do with technology, and my talk today is going to be very centered around where we're going with this, aside from the normal updates I give you on a Sunday. So let's get started. So first off, if you heard my uh, talk on Friday night to the senior reps, you know what a monumental year this is. Yesterday, I didn't really talk much about this, but you have to feel the momentum building behind World Ventures, yes? So specifically, I'm gonna give you sort of a broad strokes view of what that's looked like over the past few years. I'm gonna stop measuring in millions. I think I'm gonna go to billions. Let's just agree to do that, guys, all right? Dan, John, Wayne, let's just go into billions now. See, in 2013, it was about 190, 192 million, or dot one nine billion. Hmm? Uh, last year was our biggest year, our fifth record-setting year in a row at over 690 million, and today we're clipping close to a billion if we continue at this pace. That would be huge, right? Our first single year with that kind of performance. Now, there are no guarantees. I mean, anything could happen. A meteor could strike the earth. You know, the economy could go to heck in a handbasket, and before you know it, we're, we're looking at that number and going, hey, why not two billion? Because the fact is that our model is actually one that loves a negative economy. But this is a story of success, isn't it? And we are having massive success globally. And the US, which is our oldest market, has year after year after year performed again and again and again, beating the prior year. And this month, again, marks the, I don't even know how many dozens a month in a row where we've had record-setting growth. It's been a fantastic story of success. But where we started was certainly in a very humble-like beginning. You know, I could show the evolution of man, but why not use transportation? This is a really perfect story of where we've come from. You know, a horse and buggy can get you where you want to go, but it might not get you very far or very fast, right? Then there was a steam engine, the locomotive, even steam cars. Then finally gasoline-powered engine cars. Gets you a little bit further, a little bit faster. Then airplanes, you could go big distances relatively quickly, and then, of course, the advent of rocketeering, rocketry, space travel. And that's very fast, very vast distances. And this is very much like the evolution of World Ventures. See, we've, we have taken where we started with just one dream trip the first year to literally thousands of trips this last year, almost double that amount this year, we're between nine and 11,000 trips that are on the books scheduled for this year alone. So that's a story of massive growth. And in 28 countries with over 500,000 active members and reps and millions of customers by extension, this is a story of massive success at scale. And when you talk about scale, you're talking about size, your ability to burden massive numbers of people and transactions, and scalability in our industry and many others equals opportunity potential. And that takes more than just intention. That takes innovation. 
It takes a very talented team of professionals to execute a plan that will address the kind of scale that we're talking about. It takes technology. It takes efficiency and expertise in virtually every function within your business to be successful at scale. But what happens because of it is opportunity potential. As we increase our ability to meet a bigger and bigger audience, the opportunity for you grows. And the more we talk about the ecosystem, the bigger the picture gets for you, I think, in your minds. And you understand the reach that we're talking about extending these big open wings to. An example of that would be the, the Dream Trips product. Well, you guys, if you were here more than a year ago, raise your hand and make some noise. Okay. Senior reps, you know the question here. If you were, all of you in the room, not just senior reps and above, but if you were here only in the last year, if this is your first year in World Ventures, make some noise. Okay. So I have a story for you. See, a year ago, we had, back, back, back in my day, we had a, a dream trip called a, a welcome cruise, it was a cruise, a cruise dream trip. It was a $69 cruise. Everybody wanted to get on the $69 cruise. Now, I go to the website, I try to get the $69 cruise, and I click the button, I click the button, I click the button. Damn it, it's sold out again. See, every month we had a $69 cruise, and people would just like, their minds, they would see that, a prospect would see that $69 cruise, and they would go, what? <laughs> their heads would just explode, and they'd just, credit cards would come flying out of their wallets right into our, like, okay, I'll sign you up. It was amazing. But we could only address a few hundred people with that, you know? I mean, a cruise ship only holds so many people, we could only buy so many cabins, right? So you're doing that once a month, you got a lot of people who are going, dang it, where's the cruise? So we came up with this idea, welcome trips, right? So for you guys that are a year old in the company, all you know is welcome trips, but you, you don't know the year ago story where we only had one $69 cruise. Then we had five welcome trips, then 500. Now thousands. Now it makes up about half the inventory that's being bought today through dream trips. That replaced a $69 cruise, and we're making this the biggest segment of our product ever because that's what you want. So, these are some of the destinations that are being created and actually are going live this week right now. These are some of the favorite destinations so far. Las Vegas, Orlando, Manhattan, New Orleans, Portland, Nashville, D.C., Boston, San Francisco, San Diego, Scottsdale, Miami, Nueva Rada, Quebec. Atlanta and other destinations are being crafted right now by the Dream Trips ninjas back home. There's going to be lots more, literally thousands upon thousands of welcome trips. What you need to understand, though, is that, you know, those were being booked one at a time, here predetermined pre dates and, and uh, times of year with a certain amount of people. So those prices are going to go up and they're going to go down and they're going to go up and they're going to go down based upon seasonality and, of course, to make sure we have more rooms and availability for as many people as want to go on those. So you're going to see a broad range of welcome trips going forward. But what you need to know about them is that the savings is going to be mind-blowing like I just described. The average new member savings on the newest trips, 52% below the best online price. Bam! Again, they look at the trip and they go, Poof. Credit cards come flying out. Average veteran member, 32% discount. Not discount, reduced from the best available rate. And prices change dynamically, right? Every now and then, we get stung. Somebody lowers their price because the hotel's doing a special or something like that, but then we have the dream price promise, right? The dream trips pledge. And the price promises are there to protect that best in class pricing. So that's the strategy. I want to give you guys an example of some of the, uh, the newest ones. Here's one to the Renaissance New Orleans. You, of course, have your welcome reception, custom crafted for our group. You do the Mardi Gras world tour, including lunch, paid for, transportation to and from, and a custom mask-making experience for you. Platinum members actually enjoy a historic French Quarter ghost tour. No, thank you. $219, 
309 for existing members. You can use up to 75 points, not 50, 75. The Renaissance Times Square. This is considered their boutique location. It is actually called a boutique hotel. The welcome reception, of course, is included. You have your host on site. You have the surprises. You also have tickets to one of three of the most popular shows on Broadway. School of Rock, Jersey Boys, or Motown. And platinum members, you get to tour the Rockefeller Center. 249 bucks, 75 points towards the 349 veteran price. That's a pretty darn good deal. How about this, Vegas. We're not going to something off the strip, not a small hotel. The Venetian, a five-star experience in a 700-square-foot Bella Suite at the Venetian. 279 bucks, and that includes tickets to human nature? That's the most in-demand show in Vegas. Ridiculous. So you guys are getting, kind of getting the idea of the diversity that's going to be a part of the welcome trips going forward, right? The Hilton Orlando. This is a four and a half star resort, one of the nicest ones in Orlando. The family welcome reception does not just include finger foods and cocktails for you, but also s'mores for the kids. You get day passes for you to Universal. This is one of the most popular destinations. In fact, Scott was telling me that the Universal, what's it called? Islands of Adventure. That particular park is one of the most hands down, swank, bad, bad, bad destinations anywhere in America for you and your family. You have round-trip transportation to and from the park, of course, courtesy World Ventures, and Platinum members are upgraded to the Interpark Pass, meaning you can go to any of them, Harry Potter, the, the Santa Park, any of them. 219 bucks, the tickets alone to the park, my goodness. And you can use up to 75 points on your $309 price for veterans. Smokin', mind blown. All of this is an answer to what we know is a demand of product today. See, our members are paying $25, $50, or $100 a month right now, aren't they? Why? Value. They love the membership. They love the dream trips. But Wayne's vision was bigger. Daily, local, global. Daily, local, and global. How do I enjoy my product right here in my hometown? doing the things I want to do in my spare time with the people I want to spend my spare time with and get more value out of my product? How do I preserve the quality of life, not just the lifestyle that I want with my family? Even, what if the economy takes a tank? Fact is, there's a lot of spooky news about the economy coming up in the news lately. You've heard it, I'm sure, right? Well, here's the story. Our product answers a question that a lot of people are probably beginning to ask themselves, what am I gonna do if it turns south? What if I lose my job? What if I have to cut back? What then? Do you think that they're gonna wanna give up their membership if they know that the things they wanna do in their spare time, that they can make more, more out of the money they're spending, they get more value and earn vacations along the way so they can preserve that quality of life with their family? Heck no. So in good times, our product is good, but in bad times, our product and opportunity is great. Fantastic. The flight to safety and fun, freedom, and fulfillment. The ecosystem. So this is a word we've been using a lot over the past year and a half. For those of you who were here before, when you heard it for the first time, it was probably somewhat unknown and nebulous and hard to understand. For those of you who have been here since and you've heard it over and over and over again, you're getting the message. This is about the products, the membership, the opportunity, the places we go, the pictures, the video, the things we sell, the things we do, our culture, the people, the places, and all of those things together and how they interact with one another, how they're connected, right? That's our ecosystem. And we talk about it that way because that really is who we are. That is World Ventures' world. This is our ecosystem, the mothership of, of sorts. And within that is contained the Dream Trips product, our dining and entertainment program, Fly, the card, all of the content that I mentioned, the activities, the community, the ability for our customers to refer other customers and help you build a paycheck. The Messenger app, which is so much more than just a way to communicate. 
and of course, sharing this incredible culture and our experiences with the people you want to spend your time with. That's what the ecosystem looks like, and at the very center of it, what's that? Dream trips, points. <laughs> How excited are you guys about this? You know how, how hard it is to keep a secret, right? Can you imagine all of us walking around the office like this? <laughs> I can't wait to tell them. I can't wait. I haven't seen Wayne that giddy in a long time. <laughs> and when he starts giggling, it just, it's contagious. So that was fun. But to help me tell a bit more of this story, I thought it was appropriate that we bring up our CTO who's helping, helping us steward this product through to you guys. So why don't you help me welcome to the stage our Chief Technology Officer, Mr. Mike Remedios. Good to see you. Good to see you, sir. So, Mike, it's been tough to keep this secret, hasn't it? <laughs> oh, and he has one with Oh, I think I have one with me, too. So Mike called me, or I called Mike to say, hey, man, you're running a few minutes late. You're going to come up and be on stage with me because I really want to do some Q&A with you on stage. And he said, well, I'm working on something. You want to tell them what you were working on? Well, so you've heard a little bit about how when you come into a restaurant, everyone will know you. We call it the high roller experience. And you know, most times when you walk in somewhere, you've got to dig in your pocket, pull out the card, and they go, oh, now I know who you are. Not anymore, because it's got a beacon in it. And that means it knows who you are when it's in your wallet, and you're walking up, and you want to be treated like you're Wayne Nugent, ready head. <laughs> so who wants to try a little experiment? Let's try it. Okay, so this is, this is like breaking every rule there is in doing hey, give hot it, demos. Let's give it to somebody who, can we, uh, Troy no, Brown? I'm, I'm going to give this to you. Me? Okay, well, here. You can hold the app. Make right, sure on. the microphone's near it. I'm going right. to walk away as if I'm walking. He's, imagine Eddie Head is now the greeter of a restaurant. <laughs> and I'm... Yes, yeah, so the, mic the microphone actually is up to Shrug. the phone, which is... I'm Byron Shrug, walking up. <laughs> <laughs> this is awkward. Mike just walked away from me. I'd better get a bit further because it... Whoa! All right. So this probably works. Welcome, Mr. Romedios. How, now, how cool is that? Dude, that is so fly. That is so fly. <laughs> that is so fly. So question is, do you want to walk, run, or fly? <laughs> so here's the thing I want you guys to get. It, this is not just about convenience, right? So there have been three or four people or players in this space who have attempted to make a version of a smart card, right? Two out of the four that we knew of that really had a chance of success have actually disappeared since then. And really, there's just us and one other company that's working on this right now. And we've been the dark horse to this point. In fact, we've been the invisible horse. Nobody has even known about us. This brand wasn't even visible. So we've been working very stealthily under the cover of darkness. <laughs> No one knows what's up our sleeves. <laughs> and Mike and his devious team of engineers and wizards and scientists have been working on all of this stuff and creating something that is not just about convenience, it's about security, convenience, high roller experience, about an entire 360 sort of view of a customer's end-to-end -end experience with us. And it's the entry point, one entry point, into our ecosystem. 
So Mike, let's talk a little bit about the question I keep hearing over and over and over again from people. All right, so this is really a computer, but it looks like a credit card. Credit cards can get stolen and, and you know, they can be skimmed and swiped. And uh, talk to me a little bit about security. Sure. For, for your information, first of all, the company that we've actually worked with to do this is actually first and foremost a security company. They do biometrics and stuff for the military that they'd have to kill me if I told you about it. <laughs> Secondly, I used to work for Wells Fargo credit cards, so I understand how important this is for seven years. So I don't want to give you all the gobbledygook. Three simple things to remember is it does everything that your normal credit card does, and you've seen mag stripes, You've seen chip and pin, you've seen tap and pay, all the things which are trying to make it more secure. And it does all those things, so you have every way, and you don't need your phone to do it because it does it. You know, Samsung Pay, you need the phone. Well, this, you just do the Samsung Pay thing, and it does it. So it has all that security, and our design criteria is it has to be at least as secure as the most secure technology out there. So not, when, not finished, not finished. Okay, go ahead. As they say in the infomercials, and that's not all. <laughs> it does th three things more. So you can't get to any of those secure methods that a normal credit card has or a phone has without logging in. And we've got some fancy ways to log into this, including using the accelerometer. So, so you can use gestures that nobody could possibly guess to log into your card. See, we can actually very accurately measure your hand movement. You could essentially do an abbreviated version of your signature with the card, and we know it's you. And no one else can do that like you would do that. Make sense? So that's number one. Number two is even when you say it's ready to go pay and it's blinking green, and so you know it's actually active and actually live and dangerous, you give it to the waitress, she takes it away, she's only got 10 minutes to actually go and use it. So if somebody steals it, it switches itself off, shuts itself down, locks itself up. And number three, because there's always three, right? Always. Number three, you can make a setting on this that says, if I lose my card, forget to pick it up, because if you forgot to pick it up, it shut itself down after 10 minutes. But if you want to be really safe, because they might sneak this off to some crazy country where they'll take it apart and get your information out of it, you can tell it how long you want before the card goes self-destruct, just like Mission Impossible. <laughs> So, is that more or less secure than what you have today? So, we believe that this is the most secure form of payment available today for personal use. And it's in your hands, or about to be. About to be. A thousand of you, in fact, are going to get it first, aren't you? <laughs> so just to recap what you were saying, Mike, so all of the security method methods you mentioned are in place in the first version of this and will allow people to use the card safely. Breathe a sigh of relief, leave their phone in their safe, leave their wallet at home or back at the hotel room if they're going to be going to the beach. It is waterproof, mm -hmm. too. So you can put it in your bathing suit. Oh, wherever if you that's like. that's what you want to do. <laughs> you can load your credit cards on it, but you can also load your room keys. And one of the things that we have envisioned in this is being able to use the beacon technology that he described to you, that high roller experience, with our preferred vendors to walk into the hotel. It would greet you on your card, recognizing you, program your card automatically for your room key, and you go directly to your room.
That's hot! Did I mention that if you lose your card, Eddie Head will send you a new one? What? And what? it will sync back up with your phone and load all your cards back up. Love it. Mike, thank you. Everybody, say thank you to Mike. Thanks, guys. See, the card plus the app equals a platform. It's not just a card, it's not just the app, it's an ecosystem, but the platform that harnesses all of this will evolve to meet your needs. And as we develop more and more sophisticated technology to bring you an incomparable experience and value to your product, you'll get it first. And this team is sparing no expense, no effort to deliver something that is truly, truly revolutionary and world class and quality. Thank you guys in the technology group, in the marketing group. Thank you, Wayne Nugent, for your vision. This is amazing. But what's in it for me? So I told you that the only place you can get these cards is through you. You or your customers, right? Well, we intend to pay you to help us get these cards out to the world. See, the card is a product, just like the membership. So if you sell a card, you're gonna earn volume or points that will help you cycle or rank up or generate commissions. And, 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 in fact. And think about this, in addition to that, each and every one of those card customers is now a part of what? The ecosystem. And so as they are inside our ecosystem and they have to activate their card through our app, they're gonna see blue signs, they're gonna see dream trips, they're gonna see how they can earn points, they're gonna see all of your smiling faces, they're gonna see our amazing culture, and they're gonna be infected. And that equals viral. And so when I say what's in it for you, imagine that effect times the number of people that we will extend this to for free, that will see the brand and have some interest in this, and introduce more people, who introduce more people, who introduce more people. Whatever the number is, whether it's two people or 2,000, we're tracking every single one of those invitations. So even if it is a customer referring a customer, or a free member referring a customer, or a free member referring a free member that ultimately ends up seeing something that they fall in love with within our ecosystem that ends up converting them into a card buyer or a member or both or a card buyer, a member and a rep or buying travel, dream trips at retail, whatever, anything. We track that relationship all the way back to you. You're protected. Not only protected, you're rewarded. Get the picture? When Byron said this thing is big and it's keeping him up at night, now you know why. And now we poured a little gas on the fire. We want a thousand of you to help us test this thing in the wild. And this weekend we launch the This Is Next beta promotion. A thousand of you will qualify by making eight personal sales in the next six weeks. Right? And we told you you'd have access to the very first limited edition, first to fly version of the fly card at wholesale, but we changed our mind. We're giving it to you. You're doing us a favor. You're helping us make sure that this rocket ship will fly anywhere we need it to fly. Remember this at the beginning? This is cool, but I would love to see 2017 look something like that. You see, opportunity is a race. And now is the time. You have the inside scoop. You know it before the rest of the world knows it. We know it. We've been under the cover of darkness because we wanted to make sure we had that advantage. It's called an ambush.
And to innovate, you've got to be brave. It takes courage. And to be one of the first movers, it takes courage. To do things that are disruptive, it takes courage. This is an opportunity unlike anything else, like Ray Kroc said. Do you recognize it? That's step one. Step two, are you ready to take all out massive action? Because we're redefining this industry and we're creating a dynasty. Let's get it!